My name's Sam Kerr, and um, I recently graduated from the National Film and Television School in London, and I came here in order to learn more about uh, lighting techniques from the brilliant tutors uh, who teach here, and also the, the students from around the world who have a varying degree of uh, experience from different filmmaking cultures. It's been very fascinating so far. Uh, my name is Jackson Elizondo. I come from Venezuela and I studied in Belgium. And I graduated several years ago, but I'm a participant here. And I was interested in just uh, to deepen my knowledge in cinematography. I'm 30 years old, and when I was 13, I decided I wanted to make films. Watching films in some way changed me. And when I walked out of the cinema, the world was different. I, I remember that experience, and that's the experience where I decided to make films. I look at my early movies, and I, they had nothing but mistakes. I sort of enjoy seeing those movies because I never even think about mistakes. Because they are there, that, that's what it is. It's like, like a painting, the painter finishes painting. Now, is he going to like it or not? Numbers. 28, 31, 22. 28? 31. 31, 22. 22. Uh, <coughs> Slightly under? Slightly. Slightly. Yeah. I think what you really should care about if you're releasing photographers is lenses. Because I think that uh, as a cinematographer, the thing that's most important to you in terms of defining your image is what the lens does. The camera is a nice way of getting that image, it's a good tool, but the thing that really defines the image as we know is the lens. Find a position, to put them in front of the camera, uh, choosing the part of the set that we're going to use, and start the light. Okay, sounds good. Um, good. Okay, thank you. If I read a script, um, sort of, the, I, I think in images, and I think in composition, I think in lighting, like before anything. A, a lot of directors um, uh, focus more on the actors. Like it's more about the storytelling. I want to be um, my dream job is to be a second unit director of photography on a big, big, massive action film. Because <laughs> then the first unit do do all the scenes with the big actors, and the second unit go and do all the fun stuff like car crashes and helicopters shots. And, Actually, with like moving, moving camera and moving things, and we really like things moving quickly. And cameras moving quickly. It's just, I'm really a big fan of fast-paced scenes. A lot of things happening.
I kind of appreciate, you know, long, slow scenes as well, but for me, I really get excited when I get a chance to do something that's really fast, fast moving, running, driving, whatever. I've got Amy sat in a chair about there in the room. This is the window, I guess. What is the movement in this place? The movement? Who is moving? Who is moving from one place to another place? This is the artist's easel and canvas. And at the moment, I start on Amy, who's asleep there, which is she's kind of asleep. So from Amy to him on the wide, back to him. Where is the camera to see that all opening? The camera's going to be then facing in this direction. So that's another shot. This shot. How did we get this? This is the two shot. Where are you? Where by this time the artist has walked to this position. And, and Amy got up and got to she, she, she gets up and she's kind of there. I see, okay. I don't know if I talk, ever talked about this, you know, like Kodak came out once to see us shooting a, a very low budget movie called Wild Guitar. And uh, we were, I mean, Laszlo, Laszlo was basically doing everything for me, you know, like he was my assistant, my gaffer, my, my dolly man, my mother. So Kodak people come out and visit us. I asked them, why are you visiting? Brazil in Negas, you know, because we are no, nobody's, I mean, uh, in Hollywood, I will, nowhere. And then Kodak people said that, well, you know, we are thinking about the future. You are maybe nobody's today, but tomorrow you'll be somebody's. Yeah, Kodak is supporting this uh, event since many years, and it's uh, for us always a good place, and, and also an honor to be here and to be part of this. Budapest Masterclass, which is, I think, a, a very successful event. When I was a child, we were watching a lot of VH VHS because late 80, 80s and uh, early 90s, it was the period of VH, VHS, so we would rent all these films from different countries. These two people came on the set, I'm sitting there by the camera, watching the camera, nobody's on the set, you know, it was like lunchtime. And they asked me that, where is your crew? I said, well, he's out for lunch. <laughs> I think um, cinematography is a good way to make money. Because um, it's there's a lot more shooting jobs out there than directing jobs in Australia anyway. Obviously, it's gotten me far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dressed like a pirate. <laughs> how much how much higher can you get? I think when when I shoot with cinematographers, when you're a cinematographer, you sometimes get frustrated because uh, the director, you know, just wants to do whatever they want to do. I want to direct the things I want to direct, not direct for money. Okay. When she's Let's try just as she gets to me. Just as she gets to me. Right. Ready? Yeah. Okay, we're going for a full rehearsal. And action zoom. Action Vanessa. And then you guys at the end, um, uh, the jib down should be a little bit faster. Okay. And yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let's go for one more straight away.
And as a cinematographer, what do you think is, is most important in this profession for, for you personally? First, tolerance. And besides that, besides that, to feed the mood. First, the uh, art, art part, the set design. Then even the prop, how you prop up. Then the lighting, then the characters, and even their costumes. It's he doesn't agree with you. Let's let's ask him why. <laughs> why? <laughs> You're just joking. But I remember the first day I asked yeah, you yeah. about this, and you said the most important for you is the lens you use. Yeah, the lensing and and the lighting. You are only a cinematographer unless you are you also directing. The what film. do you mean only? I mean you have you have to you have to give the director what he wants, you know. Hello. How are you? Hey yo. I'm sorry, it's my brush. I think the cinematography is not actually about uh, the kind of lamps you are using or kind of uh, technical stuff that you are choosing to have a dolly or crane or I know you want to have big lamps. It's like about making an uh, image of some kind of emotion. Telling a story in a way that uh, create something more than, than just a story that's, that's on paper. making a story that connects with people and moves them in some way, whether it makes them, moves them to tears or to laughing or happy, but having some sort of connection, something that was just an idea someone had on paper. Whether it's just purely entertainment or it enriches you and takes you to another place, the ability to let go of where you are right now and completely surrender to a story. What do you think about the masters, the two masters? The almost is the, the famous one, <laughs> the one that we all all wanted to meet, but when I arrived and I saw Elmer's uh, films, I I felt really connected. I thought that that was um, the kinds of film, the kind of films that I would like to do. Bill Mush's films have been an inspiration to me, even before I knew about uh, cinematography. I've always enjoyed them. Uh, and then since I started studying, I found them to be an uh, incredible source of, of creative inspiration. After watching some couple of films yeah. of Elmer and everything and interacting with the master and everything, I realized one thing is what, like, the way they follow the instinct and the way they explore a scene. That is, I finding it, at this point of time, I'm finding it more important. How can you find out that you have this instinct? I don't know, that's what, after you, after you keep working on it, you might develop how far, how good or bad you are into it, or something like that. It's not just you got to feel it. At the end of the day, more than anything, lensing and lighting, and you just, you just got to feel it. Tudod, mindenkinek a saját kompozíciója tetszik a legjobban. 
ez az, ezt, 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 még, ezt még eddig senki sem mondta, hogy baromira ízlés kérdése is, nem? Mert mindenki mond mindent, hogy a tehetség, meg a intuíció, meg a szakmai tudás, meg a rutin, meg a stb. És azt senki nem mondta, hogy azért, mert én azt gondolom, hogy ami nekem tetszik, az a kosz. az a legjobb, amit én csinálom. De ez nem kérdés. <gül> Oké, okay, ezt fogom betenni az egészből. Ne, 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 ne. Just because of the last chance. Yes, right. It's uh, exactly. From now, watching the IMDb very carefully, watching your name, Sonny, who appears, making which film, and uh, wherever you are in the world, just give me a call if you need any help. And send me a ticket, and I will be there very soon.